Do you want to know how to add custom HTML to Shopify pages even if you don't have an HTML section? In the next few minutes, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about how to use HTML if you don't have HTML sections in Shopify. My name is Elise Nelson and I help tech challenge makers build a profitable e-commerce brand. Thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel where I offer lessons that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. Did you know that not all Shopify themes have HTML sections and that using HTML is necessary to add a button to your Shopify theme? In this short video, we'll be talking about editing the Shopify Crave theme with HTML coding because it doesn't have HTML sections just like several other Shopify 2.0 themes. Now, before we jump into this maker lesson, I'd love to know if you have any experience with HTML coding. Leave a comment and let me know. All right, so the very first thing that you're gonna to wanna to know is how to know if your Shopify site allows HTML editing. In other words, does my Shopify site, my Shopify theme, allow HTML editing? All you have to do to find out is go into your admin area, go to online store themes and go to customize. And then you're going to go to the bottom of your um, page, click add section and see if it says HTML. If it doesn't say HTML, you don't have an HTML section. That is the easiest way to find out. So right now I'm looking at a, the Crave theme. You can see that right here, it says Crave. The focal theme does have an HTML section, but the Crave theme does not. So what do you do, all right? So let's go ahead and talk about why you need to have HTML themes and I wanna show you my, my HTML coding that you can get completely for free. So here's custom HTML codes for your website. The biggest reason that you may need HTML codes is because you wanna add a button to your site. So oftentimes these sections do not include a button and every section on your website really should have a button that calls them to action. That call to action is, action is incredibly important and it should happen between every single section on your site. So there's no section to add a button and a lot of sections don't have a button, that means you need to be able to add a button on your own, and that is what this code is useful for. This code will allow you to add a button. So, and in order to do it, you have to be able to enter HTML code. You can also add spacing and lines using HTML coding. And so having an HTML code is something that makes it easier for you to decide how much space you want between sections, regardless of what your theme allows you to edit. So now that we know why it's necessary to have HTML codes for Shopify. Let's go ahead and talk about how to use this particular document. So if you would like to get access to all of these codes, you're gonna to wanna to go to my website, myscheduledbiz.com slash custom dash code, and you can sign up to grab that code completely for free. And once you get this document, there's two different highlights that I want you to pay attention to. The first one is this green highlight that has a number next to button. And you will need this if you're gonna have different colors of buttons. So you would basically just take this whole thing and copy it and put it in the HTML section. And then the first one that you do, you can call button two, but then if you do a, a, another one, you're gonna to wanna to make it three, four, and five. And the reason we don't call it button one is because button one already exists on your Shopify site. So we're gonna call it button two. Then we'll have, if you make another HTML section, you could change this to say three, four, et cetera. So that's the first thing you may need to change. You may not if you're only gonna have one type of button. And this has to do with the color of the button, really. So it has to do with the styling of the button. It doesn't have to do with what the button says. It just has to do with the styling of the button. So you can have multiple buttons that all say the same thing and are all the same color without having to make a, sec a separate section like this. But the yellow highlights are the places where you can update things so that your button looks different. So for example, the background color here is going to be the color of the actual button. This color is gonna be the color of the text. These are hex color codes that you'll need to be able to enter there. You can adjust the padding to decide how big or small you want the button to be. Ideally, you wanna make the button look similar to what the buttons look like normally on your site. So put it on a page, compare it to the other buttons that are there, and try and visually make it look like it's about the same. That's kind of the goal. That's why you might need to um, update the padding. You can also change where the button goes. So the button currently is set to collections all because typically the buttons we're adding are gonna say shop all. And if you're on a, a Shopify website, this is the way you go to all of your products. So you can select this yellow section and change this out if you want it to be something else. If you wanted to take them to your about page, you would do slash pages slash about. And then you can change the text that shows on the button as well. So the text that I currently have is shop now. So the green and yellow highlights are the areas that you can change. I would not mess with much else here or you may mess up the coding, 
but you're free to play with everything if you need to switch stuff up or change things out. So once you've edited your HTML to be what you want it to be, you've got the colors and the text and everything right, then you're gonna copy and paste this into your HTML section on your page. Now, before we jump into the rest of the lesson, please like this video and comment with the word HTML. Also, be sure to stick with me to the end of the video to learn your challenge for today and implement what you've learned. All right, so now let's talk about how to actually edit HTML code on Shopify pages. So we're gonna come to our page over here. I've already got the Frequently Asked Questions page up, that's fine, but you're gonna go to your admin area, online store pages, select the page you want or create a new page. And then to get to doing HTML on here, you're just gonna click this little icon here that says show HTML. So now you'll notice I don't have any of the text editing features because text editing does not work in HTML. If you had a copy on here already, then when you come into here, you may see HTML that's already created based upon what you put in the text editor. And then you're just going to paste into here what you've got when you edited your HTML codes. So I'm just gonna paste this here and then hit save. And then if you click view page, this is gonna have more on it because I have a section assigned to it. As you can see, I now have a button on my frequently asked questions page that says shop all. And if I click on it, it takes me to all of my products, just like so. If you want more help with your e-commerce brand, be sure to subscribe and sign up for notifications so that you don't miss any of my videos that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. Now let's talk about how to add custom HTML to Shopify pages using customize. So again, you're gonna admin online store themes. You're gonna click on customize. Then you wanna go down to where you can add a section. And we already know we don't have an HTML section here, but we do have a custom liquid section. And most themes, even if they don't have an HTML section, they will have a custom liquid sec section. So we're gonna select custom liquid. So we're gonna click on custom liquid. And then we're gonna come right in here and we are going to paste our HTML code. You can also change your background if you need to. And you can see there I have the shop now button showing up right there. And then of course, if you wanna move this, you can come over here, hover over those little dots and drag it to wherever you want it to be. And so now you can see I've added a shop now button. So once you've done finished that, go ahead and click on save. Um, and the nice thing about this is with liquid, Liquid actually uses HTML coding in addition to additional coding. So you can put HTML coding in a Liquid section and it will actually work. So that's why even though it says you don't have HTML, you actually can still use HTML because the Liquid section will allow HTML as well. Today's question was, do you have any experience with HTML coding? Leave a comment and let me know. Plus, be sure to check out the rest of the videos in the Build a Website for Sales playlist to learn more about how to build a website for sales. The link is in the description. Your challenge for today is to make sure every section on your website homepage has a call to action in the form of a button. If not, download the custom HTML codes for your website and use the HTML coding to add buttons anywhere you want. The link to the free download is in the description of this video. On Wednesdays, I randomly pick one of the comments from the new videos that are released every week. And if you're subscribed to the My Schedule Biz YouTube channel, you will win a free ticket to the next social media challenge. Best of luck to you all. Don't forget to live your dream every single day.